Hey guys, I'm Steph and welcome back to my beauty stash. I have a quick video to share with you guys today and it's of course featuring the foundation of the moment or skin tint of the moment, which is the new one from Fenty Beauty. This is the Eavesdrop Blurring Skin Tint. I am wearing shade three and if you saw my review video from yesterday, I gave you guys a full two day, 10 hour wear test per day and I think I was really thorough in that video so if you have any lingering questions after this video, please make sure that you watch that one. I will have it linked up above as well as in the description box down below for the full rundown, the full details on this new one from Fenty Beauty. But I will just give you a heads up, a spoiler, I did enjoy wearing it and all of those details can be found in yesterday's video. But today, today I had an idea and I actually had this idea yesterday as I was going through and editing and especially when it comes down to comparing more high-end foundations or high-end beauty products to drugstore beauty products that I have in my stash. You guys know I always love to give you dupes and alternatives because unfortunately, not all of us can afford to spend $29 on a new foundation or a new skin tint or anything for that matter. We're on a budget and rightfully so. I am hoping going to give you guys a very good dupe, a very good alternative for the new Fenty Eavesdrop. Some of you might already have the product that I'm going to be uh, sharing with you guys today. And if you do, just know that you might not feel the need after watching today's video to go out and purchase the Fenty Eavesdrop. But by all means, guys, if you had your eye on it, go for it. It is a good product. So the way this video is going to go, I am going to show you guys the application. Heads up. This is what my skin looks like after 10 hours of wear. I'm actually filming the intro and the ending of the video right now. I'm kind of a little out of order here, but I've had this makeup on for the last 10 hours. So if you think my skin looks nice, you are definitely gonna wanna stay tuned until the very end to find out which drugstore product I am comparing side by side to the new Fenty Eavesdrop. After I show you guys the application portion of the video, I will jump into the midday check-in. And then of course, my final thoughts and the big reveal of which foundation I think could be a good dupe, a very good alternative for the new Fenty Eavesdrop. If you wanna see how this quick foundation battle goes, keep on watching. To prime my skin, I'm gonna go in with the Catrice One Minute Face Perfector. For concealer, I'll be using the NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. To set everything in place, I'll be going in with the Nikia Joy Cosmetics Velvet Loose Finishing Powder. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist to mesh everything together. Mm -hmm. 
So here we are at the five hour mark. I think both foundations look identical to each other. They are both blurring and smoothing. They are wearing really nicely on my 39 year old normal to oily skin. I have zero breakup or cakiness and I'm really loving the way the foundations look. All right, guys, so we come to the 10 hour mark of me wear testing the new Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop Blurring Skin Tint against one of my favorites and one of your favorite foundations at the drugstore. I shouldn't call them foundations because neither one are labeled foundations. I want to give you guys a last chance to look at my skin, look at the right side, look at the left side. And you tell me which is drugstore and which is Fenty. If you guessed that the right side was drugstore, you would be wrong. The right side of my face is the Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop Skin Tint. And the left side of my face, one of my favorites at the drugstore, the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. Guys, both sides of my face look identical, minus the slight shade difference. And I'm going to show you both shades. The Wet n Wild is a little bit darker for me. And that's what I was noticing this morning as I was doing my eye makeup. I was like, one side of my neck looks darker than the other and it's because there is a slight difference in shade amongst these two. And here we go so that you can see the shade difference. The lighter one right here, that's the Fenty. Ease Drop in shade three, and the darker one right here, this is the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator in the shade Light. I probably should go down one shade in it, but I've been wearing self-tanner. I've actually been trying out different self-tanners uh, for a video that I'm doing for you guys. Um, so that'll be shared in the upcoming weeks. But yeah, I don't mind going a little bit darker with my foundations right now, just because I am gonna be wearing the self-tanner and hopefully picking up a tan very soon. But guys, Look at my face. I am so, so impressed. I am more impressed on this day three of me wear testing the Fenty Ease Drop than I have been the last two days with it. I mean, I am very, very happy with the way both sides of my skin look. I think they both wore equally. I do not feel like I have excess oil on my skin at all. At all. My nose looks great. I've been wearing a mask on and off throughout the day, and this is the mask right here. I don't see any transfer in there, do you? And the Fenty one does say that it is transfer proof. So I definitely think it lives up to all of its claims. As I discussed in yesterday's video, make sure you go check it out. It is linked in the description box down below for the full rundown on this new one from Fenty. But I did mention the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator yesterday. This one retails for $5. The Fenty retails for $29. You be the judge, guys. Whatever fits in better with your budget at the moment, definitely go with it. But if you already have the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator, you might not feel the need to go out and purchase the Fenty Eavesdrop because the proof is definitely right here. They both wore so well. The Fenty one just wore much better today. And I think a lot has to do with the different primer and setting powder I used because I went in with the Catrice One Minute Perfector for my primer. And then I went in with the Nakia Joy Cosmetics Velvet Loose Finishing Powder. This is one of my favorites. This is also one of my favorites. And one last thing, and I don't have it here in front of me, but this is the setting spray that I went in with when I was done with all of my makeup, and it is the NYX Matte Setting Spray. And I just sprayed that all over, and this is what we got all day long, no touch-ups, wearing a mask on and off throughout the day. Guys, I'm super duper impressed. All right, guys, so that comes to the end of today's quick little foundation battle. I'm calling them foundations, guys, but neither one of them are labeled foundation. We got a skin tint and we got a skin veil. But let me know your thoughts. Do you think both sides of my face look identical? Do you think one side looks better than the other? What did you guess was the drugstore and the Fenty side? Sound off below. If you enjoyed watching today's video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you are not subscribed already. I want to say welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you all so much for being here. I really do hope you all are enjoying my content. 
And I want to thank you guys on the amazing response from yesterday's video. Please like and share these videos as you please. I appreciate all of your love and support. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, guys. Drink that water. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.